children in a special way, pray for my grandchildren in a special way, that they would um, have a mind to be saved. Yeah. We know that only God can draw them, but I'm asking God to draw them with the cords of his love, just like he drew me. Yeah. Um, begin to draw them, begin to um, deal with my grandson's mother, mm -hmm. you know, that um, she'd be more open-minded to co-parent with me. Yeah. My grandson was raised by his father mm -hmm. up until my son's transition. And um, I don't know, you know, what her thoughts are, but um, she seems very reluctant to um, allow me to really co-parent with her. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just asking the Lord to work that situation out. Yeah. She has now became a new grandparent. I'm asking the Lord to let her see what it's like to be a grandparent for real, for real. Yeah. And that love that a grandparent has for their grandchildren. Um, pray much for our young people. I work every day in a school setting with um, children pre-K through fifth grade. Mm -hmm. um, pray for our young children. Pray for their parents. Yeah. Um, so much is going on in the world today. Our children are privy to so much more than probably we ever have been because our parents would tell us go somewhere and play. You know, go out of grown folk, go out of grown folk business. Okay. Um, but it's not like that today, you know. 
children come to school, they worry about the gas bill, the light bill, the Jesus. whatever, whatever. Ooh. They worry about adult stuff. Just pray for them in a special way. Let us pray for men in all walks of life. Let us pray much for each other. Pray for this ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, Saints. Myself, mm -hmm. uh, for my life, health, and strength, mm -hmm. and uh, the continuous leading of the Holy Spirit in my life. Thank you. Um, I also want to um, lift that my family in prayer, each and every one of us. We all go through different things, but we know that God knows, and He's the only one that can handle it, mm -hmm. and that Thank we you. humble ourselves to listen yeah. to His voice. When he say do something, do it. Whether we agree with it or not, we know that he is God and he is sovereign in all his ways. Yeah. And that we continue to follow his leading. Yeah. And not only that, just as uh, to pick that on um, Evangelist Harrington, when she said to, you know, pray for our children and, and the schools and the teachers, you know, because stress is, is an open door for Satan's playground. So, you know, just that we pray against the spirit of stress, stress mm -hmm. on everything, you know, because that's the spirit of oppression that he's trying to put on them. And pray that, you know, that the discernment, it be revealed to them. This is Thank what they're going Jesus. through and, and that they see God's face on how to deal with it, yeah. what to let go, what to hold on to, what to trust, what not to trust, you know. Yeah. Once again, the leading of the Holy Spirit. And those who don't have it, we pray that they do, that they, they'll be saved and filled with the Holy Spirit. And that, that God will turn it around for them, you know. Amen. And that we continue to don't get tired of praying. That we Amen. continue to keep praying, even when we don't see change. That we know that things happen in the spirit realm before it matters. And that we just wow. continue to trust God and what he's doing. Yeah. And what he's doing, that we learn this. Sit back, take our hands off what he's trying to control. And that we don't be the controller of it because we, just, we don't control anything yeah. but ourselves, that we manage ourselves. So, um, you know, and also I would desire prayer for uh, my children's father, you know, yeah. um, that he continues to, that God continue to deal with him yeah. just to be more of a stand up father. Mm -hmm. I see change, you know, Blessing that the Lord is doing. But that he realized that a father is an important part of a child's life. Um, not just boys, but in females, you know, just as much as a mother is important. But the male is given the authority, really, for the family. And that, you know, he has come to um, repentance. That he be repentant before God for, you know, missing the mark with his own children. And, and that... God will change that situation and show my boys that you don't have to go that way. Just because he went that way, he can't repent of his mistake, he turned, that they don't have to go that way. Amen. You know? And so, and that he also realized that how important he is to God. Amen. You know? Because sometimes men don't feel like they're important, but they're more than yes. important. They're more than needed, you know, in the house structure, in the, in, in the, uh, and, and on the work sites, anywhere, but they are very important. And he's trying to, you know, strip the male. They're trying to strip, he's trying to strip the male. And that we continue to pray against his attacks yeah. on, on the men that God has called. So, you know, just pray my strength in the Lord. Amen. 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 All right. Uh, let us uh, remember uh, Ella Manning and his wife, and Bishop Manning.
that's been made known to you, Lord. You know, you see, you understand. Yes, Bless the families, Lord. Bless those yes, that want to go closer to their grandchildren. Yes, Lord, we pray that for the fathers in the name of Jesus. And we pray for men and women and children in all walks of life. Hallelujah. Lord, you are our help. You are our only help. Hallelujah. We acknowledge you as our only help. And Lord, we thank you. And we pray, Lord, that you would bless exceedingly and abundantly. Lord, we ask you to look upon each and all of Every person that we've named you on today. And we ask you, Lord, to remember to say that to the church daily so that you should be saved. We ask you to thought and speech. Remember, Sister Margaret, in a special way. Just about Sister Mary, in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you glory, honor, and praise. Hallelujah. Remember, Mother David. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We thank God. Amen. Nothing like praying to the Lord. Yes. Amen. So I want to uh, talk to you tonight and draw your attention. Uh, if I were to title the Bible class, it would be Walk with God. Yes. Amen. Walk with God. Amen. Amen. And when someone says walk with God, what kind of thoughts did that bring to your mind? Walk with God. Walk with God. Live for the Lord. Huh? Live for the Lord. Live for the Lord. Amen. Live for the Lord. I like it. Trust him. Trust in him. Trust in him. Trust in him. Thank you, Lord. Trust in the Lord. Live in him. Yeah. And, and, and that's true. Amen. Uh, the Phrase, walk with God, is, is a Hebrew phrase, and they call it the Hebrew idiot phrase. Uh, and it means to have uh, live your lifestyle in, in the presence of God. Yes. Amen. And in order to do that, you must trust Him. Yes. Amen. Thank you. Walk with God. And uh, why then? Is it necessary to walk with God? Because it's not in a man to devise his way. Mm -hmm. But his all his steps are ordered by the Lord. Yeah. So why is it necessary? Because that's definitely true. That we may live. That we may live. When you say Eternal. that we may live, Eternal. what do you mean? Put some meat on that. Ordered by who? The Lord. Lord. Meaning that He designed 
He said it. Amen? So, so when, we, when we think about it that way, our lifestyle, the way we live has to line up with God. Amen? Amen. What he has ordered. What he has ordered. And uh, do we have any example of people that, that, that walk with God in the Bible? He knows about the Father. We do know. Yes. Amen. Amen. We do. He, huh? he walked with God, didn't he? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Noah walked with God. Yeah. Uh, Abraham walked with yeah. God. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And, and, and so then that tells us that it can be done. Amen. Right? Some people may say, well, I can't walk. Yeah. <laughs> it can be done. Yeah. And, and now he mentioned, he mentioned Enoch. Yep. Let's go over there. He must have read my notes. <laughs> <laughs> Genesis chapter number five. Genesis chapter number five. Thank you. Genesis chapter number five. And drop down to the verse. 23. And all the days of Enoch were 360 and 5 years. So he lived 365 years. And 360, that's a long time. Thank you, Lord. 365 years. All right, read the next verse. And Enoch walked with God. Now, are you shoving out in your Bible? He walked with God. Amen. Now, I don't know where we or how many of the 365 years he walked with him, but in, I'm, I can rest assured to say, uh, toward the end of his life, he was walking with God. Yeah. Amen. The Bible says, Enoch walked with God. Read. And he was not. And he was not, meaning that he spent his life with God huh? and a lifestyle of God. Mm -hmm. And the scripture says that he was not. Mm -hmm. Amen? He was not. Meaning that he was translated. Mm -hmm. He was not. For God took him. For God took him. If we were to go over uh, we won't do that, but we will go over to the book of Hebrews, uh, chapter 11, verse 5, but we don't know where we're going to go there. It says that he was not, and he was translated because uh, he did not see death. Yeah. Amen? For God, what? He did what? Took him. Yes. Amen? He took him. He escaped the judgment of death. Because he walked with God. Mm -hmm. See that? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Didn't it say heaven with Elijah? Elijah. My God. Who y'all in my house? I'm going to see the Bible's conversation. Amen. Amen. The other person that walked with God was Elijah. Amen. He was caught up yes. uh, in the whirlwind. He pleased God. Amen. He pleased God. Walked with God. Caught up. Amen. Form of the rapture. Yes. Caught up. Yes. Amen. That he shouldn't see death. Yes. Bishop. Uh huh. Enoch had a testimony that pleased God. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And that was wrapped up in his lifestyle. Yes. Thank you. Jesus. Amen. My God. I want to hear him say something. Well yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey! Hey. The unique thing about Elijah, he knew he was going to get caught up. Uh -huh. He did. <laughs> he, knew he knew it. He knew it. He knew it. He told his protege, watch him. Yes. And if you want a portion of this, a double yeah. portion of this, and Lord, you watch him. When I go right. Amen. Watch him. Watch him. All in the young. So he had such a relationship with God. Yeah. That God communed with him. Yeah. And God let him know, and he knew <coughs> how he was going to be caught up. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. so the chariot going to come.
come down and swoop him up. Swoop him up. Knock him out. Knock him out. So he walked with God. Yeah. God is, God is telling us the same. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus, they looked up there, saw Jesus go up. So he made a Galilee. Uh -huh. By saying he and Daddy. That same Jesus. Same Jesus. He's coming back. Hallelujah. Amen. He's coming back. Amen. Amen. My son. Keep it coming. 
gave us his word how to do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so sometimes, you know, and, and the reason why I'm saying this is because I just experienced this. I had to go to somebody about something, and they were like, oh, well, you're supposed to be a Christian. I am a, I am a Christian. Did uh -huh. I come at you cussing? Did I raise my voice? No, what it was is they didn't like the correction of what, what happened. Uh -huh. you know, but I did it in love, so my, my consciousness is, is, is clear. Mm -hmm. But I was supposed to address that. You know, because the Bible says if you have a heart against your brother and sister, you can't even give your you can't give your seed, you can't give your tithe and your offering. He said, put it down and go address it. You know what I'm saying? So love don't just mean you have to be walked over. Uh, well, see that's 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 where uh, I'm, 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 I'm bubbling up a little bit. Uh, when we say love doesn't mean that you uh, can't be walked over, uh, love is, is, is sacrificial. Everything you said is true. Love is sacrificial. Right? right? And, and I, I obey God. Uh, and, and, and I keep his commandments. I can go, and I'm supposed to go to my brother and sister and to be reconciled unto them. Uh, and and because uh, uh, if they're feeble minded and don't really want to be reconciled oh and having their issues and things such as that, uh, 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 they they still want to mistreat me. Uh, I'm, I'm to love them. Yes. Uh, and 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 uh, if the Bible says agree with your adversary. Uh, while I are in the way of it. Uh, so it uh, doesn't mean that I, uh, my love that I don't let you beat up on me. Uh, but, but I do allow for uh, mistreatment. Uh, people love to say they love God, but they mistreat them. And God will not snap them up. Uh, uh, if you're going to be hungry, feed them. Thirsty, give them drink. Huh? For, for bear one another. There he is. That's what I want. Thank you. He keeps talking to those kids. For bear one another. Yes. Huh? In love. Yes. But yes, you know, you don't have to be mistreated. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, have them beat you in the head. That ain't love. Yeah. Huh? But, 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 you know, uh, you got some people. That that are that are that are feeble minded. Yes. Don't have full understanding. Yes. That are ignorant. Yes. Uh, and 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 you forbear them. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, so if they want to cut you in line, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, you cut me in line. Yes. Are uh, you talking about me? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Talk about yeah. You know, I love you. That is going to change my Yeah. That relationship is personal. 
that love that we have for God, he's not looking about, oh, what so-and-so did and what so-and-so. No, he's looking at how did you handle the situation and you say you love me, mm -hmm. then love me. Yeah. You know? Trust me. Trust me. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. When, when it's going against all of your inclination and all of your understanding, yes. can you trust me? Yes. Uh, that's, 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 that's where love comes in. Yes. Can you trust me? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm sending you mm. to the lion's den. <laughs> trust me. Yes. Uh, uh, that's where, that's where uh, you remember. Uh, we give Thomas a bad shot sometimes. Donald Thomas would come. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, remember when he was getting ready to go? Uh, Jesus was getting ready to go to Bethany to raise Lazarus. And and he said, he said, uh, to Jesus, Jesus, you know there's a lamp over there. Why don't I go? Uh, and Jesus said, I'm going. And, and Thomas said, well, we might as well go down there. Yes. To 
Right? Mm -hmm. Now, honor, respect, obey you in spite of what you want to do. Sometimes we reference our thoughts more than we do the thoughts of God. That's what gets us in trouble. When we honor our will above God's will. Jesus. Huh? Yeah. We have to submit ourselves to God. That's all we reference him. Submit ourselves to his will above our will or somebody else's will. Don't say the devil did it. Look down to me, even to your 
revival history. You see that as a reoccurring theme. Uh, to destroy that. Jesus. Uh, we ought to do everything we can to keep family together. Man. Uh, no. Who, who, who? I thought of uh, other brothers that killed uh, uh, Joseph. Uh, his brothers did him wrong. Then. Uh, who? And you're this and you're that, but you're really taking from 
from them. You're taking from them. If you don't give them what they're supposed to have or teach them the ways of Christ and you're bypassing or caressing. It's not bypassing. Just like for the kid. If you're not teaching that child the correct way of things or when you see them doing something and you don't correct them, you're basically raping their right to live righteous because you're not teaching them. You're, you're raping them from that. So Absalom is just, it's, it, it comes from a, 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 a form of deceit, but it's also, it's, it's a rape. It's a rape spirit. Now, when we look at uh, from our love, yeah. second sin, but then the family, it comes down to a breach of family loyalty. Amen. God wants the family to be loyal. Amen. Eh? Amen. Amen. He wants the family. Am I right? And, and, and because of that breach of loyalty, and, and the absence of godly love, families we have. Yeah. Even in my own family. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this yeah. happens. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure in your family Amen. that this happens. Uh, and the, the breach of it is what happened to Adam and, and some Cain and
Can't, 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 can't. I love football. I love Sunday football. I can't go down with my refuge. Huh? Can't suffer too much. Huh?
What we're talking about now is God. I said, God, I know I got the notes, but let me get you the people need. Thank you. Huh? This is what we need right now. Yes. Uh, don't make it.
serving you. It's you serving me. It's us serving one another. Come on here! Come on here! Thank you. And, 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 and God wants you to be like Christ. Thank you. You want to know the will of God for your life? The will of God for your life is to be like Jesus. Thank you. Huh? Y'all ready? Oh, y'all get that. 
Hereby know we that we are in him. Uh, where was she? Are we? He that said he abideth in him. Now notice, he that says he abides in him, dwells in him. On himself also, so to walk. Uh, now, now there he is. He, in, in the mother verse, we talk about his commandments, and we talk about love, and now he's talking about walking, living. That